Hello everyone, this is James Short with another Test Driven Development video. I'm recording this on June 4th, 2012, and picking up where, just where we left off in the last episode, where we were embarking on something I'm really not sure about. I'm trying to improve the design, but I'm not sure if it will improve the design. Uh, and yet, what I have right now is not great. And what I have is application model is sort of the fundamental uh, uh, traffic cop it, for the UI. It res It's uh, responsible for coordinating all the different components in the UI. And it has these six methods, which are basically getters and setters for starting balance, starting cost basis, and yearly spending. And if we run the application, we'll see these here, here, and here. And the idea is, is when you change one of these, it should immediately go and change the table. Now, currently, the way that's handled is you tell application model that you want to change one of those and it goes and and it changes it in the underlying uh, data store and then it tells the table to update and that's pretty elegant um, and I was thinking about changing that I was thinking about changing that because the reason what we have right now is we've moved all this data it used to be stored in this in this model but now it's stored in a user configuration object which can handle persistence um, and so now these methods are largely just pass-throughs, and it feels to me like they're not earning their keep, that they're not doing enough to make themselves worthwhile. So what I'm considering doing, and I really don't know if this is a good idea, I'm considering changing it so that the application model, rather than setting the configuration, is just informed that the configuration has changed through this configuration updated method. Yeah, so that's the idea. I really am not sure if it's a good idea. Um, what we have now is nicely elegant. I just doesn't feel like it's. It, it doesn't. It, it feels like we got a lot of do nothing code in here, and it seems like it might get cleaner if we take that out. So, I haven't had a chance to hear what people think about that because I'm recording these episodes all at once. I'm going to go and finish this refactoring, and then stop recording and hopefully hear from you guys. Um, Really looking forward to seeing what you think about this refactoring. I don't know if it's a good idea at all. It will allow us to get rid of six fairly brainless lines of code or methods, which is definitely a win. But whether or not that's an overall improvement, I don't know. Um, for one thing, this is a lot harder to use incorrectly. The new approach where you have to remember to call, tell it that the application model's changed. Why, well, just feels like duplication. Yeah. Well, let's try it, see what happens. Let's see. Okay. So we'll probably want to keep this method regardless, just because it does nice things, namely this. All right. Okay, so removing these should be fairly easy. I've got this configuration updated, I should be able to come into configuration panel. Now, rather than passing in just the application model, I would now need to pass in the application model and the user configuration. Hmm. This just does not feel right.
So now we're now that it's not a an uh, a piece of application model. I forget what the formal term is there, but um, now we're passing it in, which means that here probably would want to get rid of this. Can I do that? Not just yet. Let's go ahead and leave that out. The more I get into this, the more it feels like a bad idea. Hmm. Yeah. Just so I've got to put this into here. So now I've got to get a way of have a way of getting that user configuration back out of the application model so I can pass it into here. Well, that actually that kind of makes sense. It makes sense that the application model would have a way of getting at its user configuration. I'm sort of jumping around here. Let's put that back the way it was, get it back to compiling code. This should fail because I've got that new test that I haven't implemented yet. Yeah, expected that, was null. Yeah, I'm still really, really uncertain about this. Okay. So now we've got the ability to pass the user configuration in, which means that we should be able to go back into here and Well, I guess hmm. If we can get just just get the configuration out of the model. Let's pass it through for now. Again, this just does not feel right. Yeah, somehow this is, it's like a horror movie, you know, everybody's saying, hey, let's split up. Let's, let's go seek out this terrible monster that's killed all of our friends separately. And everybody's thinking in their head, 
what a terrible idea. And yet they do it anyway. That's what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm saying over and over, what a terrible idea. And yet here I am doing it anyway. Um, yeah, so now that I've acknowledged that, let's go ahead and do it anyway. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing here, do I? No, I'm, I'm totally, totally confused. Well, past tests must be good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so well, we know it's functional, just don't know if it's a good idea. And actually, I think I can answer that. Not a good idea. But maybe. Let's see what happens. Um, so now that we've got this, now we can say here, instead of application model dot set starting balance field dot get dollars, we can say user configuration dot starting balance equals. And then we can say application model dot um, configuration updated. And here we can say user configuration dot starting balance. And that's kind of cool. I mean that that has a certain certain quality to it that I like. Where are we getting a warning in here? Oh. Yeah, now our test is going to fail. Because we're saying the application model should be updated. And we didn't see set starting balance called with. Ah, boy, this is just getting worse and worse. It just keeps going down a rat hole. Really what we want to say here, starting balance field updates the application model and the user configuration, right? So we should say you know, user configuration should be updated, pass in, or and that's going to expect, well, it's going to be expecting the 668 and um, starting balance. Okay, yeah, and then also we want to say the application model was updated. And that's really just saying um, that the mock model configuration updated called. And the way we know that is that way. So here It should fail. And now it should pass.
Yeah. All right. Well, we've explored this for a couple of episodes, maybe 20 minutes, what's overall. And I have to say, I don't like it. I'm going to stop here, let you guys talk it over in the forums. Which approach is better? Is there a third approach, a fourth approach? Um, let's tell me, let me know what you think. And we will pick up with this next time. I'm going to stop recording for today and give you guys a chance to f- give me your feedback. Right now, my thoughts, nah, terrible. Uh, everybody's been individually killed. The horror movie's over. It's sort of like uh, The Cabin in the Woods. And I won't give you any spoilers, but yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Talk to you later.